books out so we're ready. Okay. Page 411. Number two. Okay. So we're using the properties of addition, the commutative property and the associative property to easily add problems mentally. Right. Number two, Alex, tell us um, what you got for number two. Number two, I got 15 and 9 sixteenths. How did you get 16 for the oh, denominator? Oh, 10, 10, 10. Okay. Okay. So your full answer was 16 and 9 tenths? Yeah. Or 15 and 9 tenths? Yeah. Okay. Tell me what you did. How did you do that? I did 8 and 1 fifth plus 4 and 2, uh, two fifths, which eight, Good. Which equaled... Um, 12 and three fifths. Yeah. Um, then I did, okay. Once I did that, I did five, um, five times, um, five times two is 10. Mm -hmm. So then three times two is six. Yeah. Good. Okay. And then six plus three is nine. Yeah. So then 15. All right. I'm not. Mean, uh, what page? What problem are you on? Number two, and the answer is fifteen and nine tenths. Oh, okay, that's what okay. I got. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I got All that. Right. Number three, Bernadette. What did you get? Okay, so first, I did two and three eighths plus five and seven eighths in parentheses. Mm -hmm. Good. Plus one and three fourths. Mm-hmm. And then I did seven tenths, seven ten, wait, seven ten eighths plus one and three fourths. Mm -hmm. And then seven five fourths plus one and three fourths. And that equals eight, eight and fourth, fourth. And then um, I reduced that to 10. Good. Eight and eight fourths. And eight fourths is equal to two. So you said eight plus two is 10. All right, that was good work also. Good job, Bernadette. Um, number three, Irfan. What did you get for your final answer? You're muted, Irfan, just unmute. Oh, for number three or number four? Number, oh, sorry, number four. Okay. Um, uh, so Seven and two uh, sevenths. All right, it's close. It's eight and two sevenths. I think you just lost the one. Eight and two sevenths. So you put together the two and one tenth plus four and nine tenths, and that gives you six and ten tenths, which is the same thing as seven. And then seven plus one and two sevenths is eight and two sevenths. Right? Number five, Grant. I got 11 and 7 tenths. Very good. All right. Do you want to tell us how you did that? Oh, so I did um, 3 and 1 fourth plus 3 and 1 fourth equals 6 and 2 fourths equals 6 and a half. So I did 6 and 5 tenths plus 6 and 2 tenths, which equals 11 7 tenths. Okay, good. Yes, I just think that spot six and five tenths plus five and two tenths. Good. Eleven and seven. The six and five tenths was the six and a half. Good. So, All right, that's good. Um, Grant, can you remute yourself? And Irfan, mute yourself again, also. Yeah. All right, number six, Lily. And Lily, you have to unmute. Number four. Number six. Oh, number yeah. six. So I I did one and one fourth okay. plus five and three fourths. And I got six. And six. And, and I add it with three and two third. Uh-huh. What did and I got I 
I got nine and two thirds. Okay, that that's really close. Um, when you add the one and one fourth plus five and three fourths, and you said you got six, that would be six and four fourths. I think you just lost the four fourths there. So six and four fourths, which is the same thing as seven. Okay. So it's just going to bump up one, seven plus three and two thirds. Do you understand that piece? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, you put them together nicely. All right. Number seven, Jack. Uh, number seven. Mm -hmm. I did six and a half plus two and a half, half and which equals nine. And I, then I did nine plus two and two fifths, and I got eleven and two fifths. Excellent. Did you put a label with that? Miles. Miles. Good. Awesome. Okay. Number eight, Pia. I did um seven and I mean two and seven eighths plus two and three eighths equals five and two eighths, and then I added one and one fourth, and then I had to change the one and one fourth to two. Wait, what? I changed it to two eighths, but it should be one and two eighths plus. Um, five and two eighths, which should be six and a half pounds. Good, six and a half pounds. Good. Yep, because you end up with six and four eighths, which would be six and a half pounds. Okay. Excellent. And we did not have to do nine, but we did move on to the next page. And who didn't I hear from? I heard from Pia, Lily, Jack, Irfan, Grant, Grace. Alex. Oh, am I missing somebody? I'm missing. Wait, I don't think I went. Grace? Yeah, Grace, you didn't go. Okay, but who am I missing? Oh, Bernadette's missing now, but I did hear from Bernadette. Yeah, I don't know why she did. Maybe she lost connection. Okay, Grace, would you do number one on page 412? Sure. Um, first, I added two and one third was six and two third, and um, two plus six is eight, and then two plus one is three, so that's three thirds. So eight plus one is nine, and then mm -hmm. nine plus three and five six is twelve and five six. That's my perfect final answer. Excellent, good job. Okay, let's go back um down my list then we'll go to alex next alex what did you get for number two again we're adding these all together tell us what you did i got uh 17 and 7 12 yards yes good all right which numbers did you put together first um seven and one six and then five and one six good okay i think you guys are doing a good job where are we? Together. We're going to number three oh, now. That was number two. Number two. On what? 17 and 7 12th yards. On page 12. Okay. Are, were we supposed to do that for homework? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. All right. We're on number three now. Um. Juanita wrote three times 47 as three times 40 plus three times seven. What property is that? Um, who wants to tell me that? Let's go. I'll just go down my list because it's hard not to do it that way. Bernadette, I have you next. You're back in. What property did you think that was? I said associative property. Well, associative property is when we move the grouping. So we have parentheses and we move them somewhere else. So they're they're not Hold showing that. them there. What is it when you split like 47 apart and do three times 40 plus three times seven? So it's not the ones we've been working with now because this is like from way back. Oh, um, remember? Distributive? Yes. Who said that, Jack? Okay. Yeah, it's the distributive property. All right, because remember- I put community. I thought I was talking about what we the lesson we just previously did, and I was like, this isn't spiral view. This is just the lesson Jack put in the spiral view. Yeah. So always remember that. Distributive. 
distributed spiral review, then it's you it's about things we've done before. Okay, number four is an order of operations. Grace, what did you get for four? For number four, first I did four plus three, which is seven, and then mm -hmm. two times seven, which is fourteen, and eighteen minus fourteen is four. Excellent. Good work. All right, number five. Evan spent fifteen eighty nine on seven pounds of bird seed. How much was that per pound? Grant, what did you get for number five? I got, this is actually probably wrong. I'm just taking a guess here. 111.23 pounds is probably wrong. Um, yeah, well, you have to divide, divide Grant. Um, let me go to Irfan. Did you divide for that, Irfan? <laughs> Or fun, you're muted. Oh, number five on the yeah. yeah, number five on the back page. Yeah, what do you got? I got two dollars. I got two dollars and twenty-seven cents. Yes, good. All right, we only have one more to check. Number six, and that one is for Lily. Lily, you're adding those two fractions together. So I added one and five. three one and three five one and three fifths mm -hmm. yeah and one and three four and i changed the bottom into 20. yep good and i and i got seven two and seventeen twenty Two and I have two or one and twenty-seven twentieths, and then I change it to two and or sorry, two and twenty-seven twentieths, um, which should end up being three and seven twentieths. Um, I'm gonna write that one down for you guys to see because I haven't written any of them yet. Okay. Um, one and three fifths and one and three fourths. And you said you turn those into twenties. So 12 twenties and 15 twenties. It gives you two and 27 twentieths. Okay. It's like that. Two and 27 twentieths. Okay, but that's not simplified because 27 twentieths is one and seven twentieths. So we're gonna change it to three and seven twentieths. We add that one over to the two. So three and seven twentieths. Okay. All right, look at the next page. Wait, so what, what was the answer for that, for number six? It is three and seven twenty miles. Okay. Okay. And I'm looking down there. Pia, what's on the next page? Chapter review. Whoa, chapter review, yes. Okay. Let's start working on some of that together for class today. Let's look at number one. All right, so we're going back to things from the beginning of this chapter. Sophia babysat for three and seven twelfth hours Friday. She babysat for two and five six hours Saturday. For one A to C, estimate, estimate how long Sophia babysat on Friday and Saturday combined. Choose the correct benchmarks and sum. Okay, Sophia babysat for about how many hours on Friday? So we're estimating three and seven twelfths. Is that close to two, three, three and a half, or four? Alex, what do you think for 1A? For 1A? Yeah, what's the best estimate? I'd say about, yeah, I'd say about three and one half. Good, three and a half, because three and seven twelfths, I mean, six twelfths is a half, so seven twelfths is pretty close to three and a half. Good. 
All right, how about Saturday? This is part B, Bernadette. About how many hours on Saturday? Um, so that says two and five, six. Two and a half. Think about five out of six. Is that close to half or is it closer to all of it? Like is five closer to so, three or to six? So that would be three then. Three, yeah. And that's kind of those ones. Remember when um, we were still in school and I would say, Mrs. Palmer has six kittens and I give you five of them. Did I give you like almost none, like close to half of them or most of them? And this would be like, I gave you most of my kittens, almost all of them. So we bump it up to three. All right. So if we say Friday and Saturday combined, we're just going to add that three and a half and three. So for one C, the answer would be six and a half. Okay. So you guys have three and a half, three and six and a half. Okay, right, number two, Grace, would you read us that whole story, please? Sure. Um, Rod, Rodrigo, is that how you say it? Um, yeah, Rod, Rodrigo. Rodrigo practiced playing the guitar 15 and one third hours over the past three weeks. He practiced for six one and one-fourth hours during the first week and four and two-thirds hours during the second week. How much time did Rodrigo spend practicing during the third week? Use the numbers and symbols to write an equation that represents the problem. Then solve the equation. Symbols okay. may be used more than once or not at all. Okay, so you guys have done a lot of problems like this. This is the multi-step problem. You don't have to think about those blue boxes. I mean, if they help you to use those, that's fine. But you know those are the numbers. And you know that we use, you know, um, some addition in there. When we solve, sometimes, like, to solve it, we're going to use subtraction. So you don't have to write the equation the way they're saying that. I just want you to solve that problem, okay? So, Grace, could you come up with... Um, a plan for us to solve this? Sure. Okay. First, um, I'm going to want to add six and one fourth plus four and two thirds. And since four and three aren't the same, I'm going to make them a 12. So four times three is 12. So one times three is three. And then three times four is 12. So two times four is eight. Now, um, I'm going to add my fractions first. 8 plus 3 is 11, so that's 11 twelfths. And 6 plus 4 is 10. So I have 10 and 11 twelfths now. Now I have to subtract 10 and 11 twelfths from 15 and 1 third. <coughs> so I'm going to change 1 third. 3 times 4 is 12. So 1 times 3 is 3. And then... Let's see. I cannot do 3 minus 11, so I'm going to change 15 to 14, and then change 3 twelfths to 15 twelfths. And 15 twelfths minus 11 twelfths is 4 twelfths, which we can reduce in the end. And then 14 minus 10 is 4, and 4 twelfths. So you do 12 divided by 2, which is 6, and then 4 divided by 2 which is 2, and then you can even um, subtract that. So I could do 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and 2 divided by 2, which is 1. So my answer would be 4 and 1 third. Mrs. Palmer, can I, can I come at um, 2 to... Uh, check this I guess I, which which uh which answers did you get for 1a 1b and 1c Mrs. Palmer we can't hear you I think you're muted Mrs. Palmer thank you I was muted um where were you when we did those are fun I'm not really sure. I guess I just zoned out. Okay. All right. We're going to go back over this page. 1A, 3 and a half. 1B, 
three. One C, six and a half. And then we were working on number two. I just have a little bit I would change on that, Grace. Um, so you added six and one fourth and four and two thirds, and you changed them into twelfths, which I agree with. And you'd said six and three twelfths plus four and eight twelfths is 10 and 11 twelfths. That's what I got. And then we're subtracting that from 15 and one third. And um, we had to change 15 and one third into twelfths. And that was 15 and four twelfths. And I think that's what you said there. And you, or did you say 15 and three twelfths? at that spot, Grace. Oh, Grace, I'm Grace, sorry. You're, you're muted. You're muted like Mrs. Palmer was. Um, I would, yeah, I would change that to four twelfths. Okay. And then yeah. I would just make, um, I'd make 15, 14, and then four twelfths, um, 16 twelfths. Yeah. And 16 twelfths minus 11 twelfths is five twelfths. So yeah. four and five twelfths. Good. Okay, so as you guys can see, we're at the end of this chapter. We're going to continue working on the chapter review next week, and then we'll take a test on this chapter. Um, so Mrs. Palmer is deciding. I did give a geometry test this week and a test to sixth grade. And I sent that in their Google classrooms, like as a document. And then they opened up like a Google doc and shared it with me for their answers. God bless you. Or I could put a test on um, in your Google classroom, like a multiple choice type test even with short answers. I guess what I wanted to ask you. Mrs. Wetzel? I mean, Mrs. Uh, Palmer. Yeah. Um, have you heard of the Google Forms? Yep. Yep. So Another, I did a Google Form one also. Um, so uh, that's what I wanted to ask you. Is Do you like to do your test on Google Forms or would you rather me send a document? So Pia, since I have you on, what do you think? Have you guys taken any other tests so far? We did take a science test on Google Forms. How did that go? It went well. It's just um, we don't know. We also um, we took a, a vocab test on Google Forms, but um, the science test, Mrs. Wetzel didn't know where the um, where the tests went to. Like she couldn't find. Oh them. no 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 no! That was uh, that was a part on her behalf because she just had a, thing, a setting on that didn't uh, send her the test. Okay, um, so we'll, we'll do a test next week. It's um, the thing is, you know, I like to see a lot of work for your math. But Ms. Palmer, are we gonna yeah. have to do like part of the review for homework? No, I'm not giving you any homework over the weekend. I did put a new challenge Ooh. in some dog, and it's just 50 problems. It's not due until next Friday. Oh, only 50. Only fifty? Yeah. That's easy. You can do that. Yeah. Only can do like so easy. It will be like oh, six okay. minutes. Um, I'm hoping I'll that they're all minutes. corrections. Okay. Mrs. Palmer, so all our only homework is the Sun Dog Challenge. Yep, and that's not due until next Friday. Okay. And next week we'll continue to work through the chapter review, and we'll take a test there before Easter break. Okay. All right. Um, do you know? Do you guys have any questions? No. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Grace, um, I think Mrs. Winters is deciding if we'll still have Thursday off or not. It, it is scheduled to be oh. Thursday off, Friday off, and Monday off. So she's deciding if we want to keep that or if it will be too much um, time off school and people will get Pia, out you're of it. Pia. I think that's crazy. I think we should have five days of school because even though like we're at home, we should still be getting the same amount of work done. Yeah, but we were scheduled to be off school um, anyway. Like those were scheduled days off. So she's deciding. 
Okay, bye. Bye, have a good day. You too. Thanks.